All right, so last night, um, it has been confirmed by um, Lionsgate Publicity, some website that they have. Um, today was um, confirmed by Cummings.net, by BladeDiscussing.com, on IMDb.com, a lot of places. It's been confirmed that um, Carrie Ools, who played, if you've seen Saw One at all, um, he played Dr. Lawrence Gordon, who was in the bathroom with Adam, and he had to saw his leg off at the end, and that was the last thing we saw from him. Well, um, he's reprising his role and, um, in Saw 7 and 3D, which I really hate because 3D is totally overhyped. And we don't know how he's going to reprise his role, if he's going to be good or bad, if he's I'm going to be in flashbacks and like right now. But uh, I have a theory. I, I do. So uh, the plot of this whole Saw 7 movie is um, as follows. Links below. In the seventh installment, as a deadly battle rages over Jigsaw's brutal legacy, a group of Jigsaw survivors gathers to seek the support of a self-help guru and fellow survivor Bobby Dagan, played by Flannery. I don't know who that is. A man whose own dark secrets unleashes a new wave of power. So, um, well, if I look at this, I'm thinking that, um, that, uh, one of the gathers is Dr. Gordon. Uh, for one. I think the gatheree is um, Jill. Um, I remember it's all six. She was going to the hospital to drop off a package and it showed her dropping off the package but it never says to who what the package is. I'm guessing it's to Dr. Gordon's office to Dr. Gordon about a gathering of jigsaw survivors. I don't know why she would be doing that. I don't know how. I don't know why she would be gathering jigsaw survivors if she's evil. Um, well, I would call her evil, but, you know, she's not the best person on the, you know, on the moon. You know, the mundo. Bobby Dagan's, um, dark secret is, I really, really want to know. Um, yeah, it seems like a really, really interesting premise for this movie. Um, I remember back, um, in Saw 6, that, um, whole premise, plot, whatever you want to call it, came out. Um, it was kind of dull, it was all like, something about Detective Hoffman, like, something about the cops know who he is and stuff, and it wasn't exciting, and this is like, bam, exciting, you know? So, um, I see really big things for this movie. It looks really, really, like, kind of epic, kind of really, really good. It's supposed to be the last Saw movie, so, um, I'm sure that they're putting all they have into it, and if they not, because they think, oh, this is it, who cares? Or they just give up, then, uh, I don't know. But, uh, they better, like, you know, be like, this is the last one, let's do it right, and there we go. So, um, yeah, that's about it. Um, I'm totally hyped. I'm gonna try not to watch the trailers or see, like, photos, but if I'm, you know, tempted, you can't stop temptation, right? So, um, yeah, that's about it. I'll give you some more info when I can. Just really, really exciting, because... You know, all the Gordon Knights were like, he's a Um, they were probably all gonna, like, gather together in one, like, <laughs> room and be like, this is the most historic event ever created, ever. And, you know, it's, it's, it's really not. But, um, it is really, really exciting and I'm really hype. I'm gonna see it in 2D, not 3D, because 3D is overhyped, except if I'm tempted. Because you can't stop temptation. Yeah, true that. So I'll see you guys later. That's all I have. Mm -hmm.